The human rights situation in Turkey is catastrophic, and democracy and rule of law have deteriorated dramatically. Look no further than the arbitrary imprisonment of journalists, academia, opposition politicians, the ceaseless harassment of civil society, media, opposition parties, doctors, lawyers, prosecutors, people facing many years of prison for a tweet, like Jihan Erdal, women, especially trans women, facing massive violence. And yet, confronted with all of those issues, the Council is still working on a mandate for the modernization of the customs union between the EU and Turkey, without any linkage to human rights, and very differently from accession negotiations, upgrading the customs unions entails zero commitment for press freedom or the rights of opposition parties. It's a pure economic instrument that will help Erdogan win in the area that makes him most vulnerable, economics. Therefore, I strongly urge you to think again about the message you're sending to people fighting for human rights and democracy in Turkey, but also beyond. Turkey is one of the main receiving countries for refugees. And yes, we should do our utmost to help the country deal with that challenge. But Europe should never have tasked Erdogan with keeping people in need away from Europe's border. That was a failure to Europe's responsibility to the fundamental human rights of people in need of protection and a geopolitical disaster. And this needs to be ended and not to be continued.